to a mountain daisy by Robbie Burns. Small, modest, crimson-tipped flower, you have met me in an evil hour, for I must crush among the dust your slender stem. To spare you now is past my power, you lovely gem. Alas, it is not your neighbour sweet, the bonny lark, companion meet, bending you among the dewy wet with speckled breast, when upward springing blithe to greet the purpling east. Cold blew the bitter biting north upon your early humble birth, yet cheerfully you sparkled forth amid the storm, scarce reared above the parent earth your tender form. The flaunting flowers our gardens yield, high sheltering woods and walls must shield. But you beneath the random shelter of clod or stone adorns the bare stubble field, unseen, alone. There in your scanty mantle clad, your snowy bosom sunward spread, you lift your unassuming head in humble guise. But now the ploughshare tears up your bed, and lo you lie. Such is the fate of artless maid, sweet floweret of the rural shade by love's simplicity betrayed, and guileless trust, until she, like you, all soiled is laid, low in the dust. Such is the fate of simple bard, on life's rough ocean luckless starred, unskilled he to note the card of prudent law, till billows rage and gales blow hard and whelm him over. Such fate to suffering worth is given, who long with wants and woes has striven, by human pride or cunning driven, to misery's brink, till wretched of every stay but heaven, he ruined sink. Even you who mourns the daisy's fate, that fate is yours, no distant date. Stone ruins ploughshare drives elate, fall on your bloom, till crushed beneath the furrow's weight shall be your doom.